on how to build a hovercraft. Our first concept is friction. Hovercrafts are a more efficient vehicle in the term of friction than cars. For cars, wheels and the concrete create the friction. If the car is coasting, it will come to a stop because of the friction. For the hovercraft, it is air and the surface which you are riding. Since air it doesn't generate much friction with solid objects, the coasting of the craft goes further than a car. Our second concept is inertia. Inertia is the resistance of any physical object to any change in motion. With our hovercraft, the inertia is when the object changes speed, direction, or its state of rest. It is the tendency of objects to keep moving in a straight line at constant velocity. Our third concept is circular motion. Circular motion is a movement along the circumference of a circular or a rotation along a circular path. Our hovercraft is circular, making a rotation along a circular path. It can be uniform with constant angular rate of rotation and constant speed, or non-uniform with a changing rate of rotation. Our fourth concept is air pressure. The trick to get the craft to hover is to have the air molecules exert greater pressure or force than the weight. The hovercraft hovers by creating a cushion of air with enough pressure Our concept five is air pressure. The air pressure needed to lift the hovercraft equals the weight of the craft and the pressure divided by the area. The larger the surface area, the greater the weight of the craft and therefore more pressure would be needed. Also, the larger the area, the greater drag or resistance on the craft is created. For concept six, uh, we're using thrust. The fan on the back of the hovercraft can be used for thrust. This is the leaf blower or fan. Um, the fan on the back of the craft displaces the air, meaning the craft moves forward. This is because of Newton's third law, which states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The fan forces air to push behind, propelling the craft forward. 